Hello everyone and welcome to another RF Cryptos A Simple Explanation video. In this video, we will look at the Lightning Network, which is a layer 2 solution that has the potential to enable Bitcoin to be used as a medium of exchange, just like how you'd use your debit or credit card. Bitcoin has transformed our definition of money and it gives us a healthy alternative to the current monetary model, which is primarily centralized. Bitcoin gives you complete control of your money it is decentralized and it cuts the need for middlemen, thereby cutting costs. It's also quick and it's available for everyone. But despite being a revolutionary concept, Bitcoin has some shortcomings like everything else. One of its biggest limitations relate to the network speed and the price of transactions, particularly during periods of high activity. If you've ever tried sending a transaction during a time when the network is busy, you've probably faced a situation where Bitcoin transactions are slow and expensive. This is because Bitcoin transactions are ultimately confirmed by miners once every 10 minutes. And if you don't offer a high enough fee, it can take hours or even days for the transactions to be confirmed. So the busier the network gets, the higher the fee you have to pay to get your transaction confirmed by the miners. It's just simple demand and supply. What does this mean? Bitcoin in its current form is not scalable. For instance, Visa and MasterCard can process up to 65,000 and 5,000 transactions per second respectively, while Bitcoin can only process 7 transactions per second. This creates an issue and barrier when it comes to using Bitcoin on a daily basis in a similar manner that you'd use your debit or credit card. It works slowly and it can be prohibitively expensive to make small payments making it unfavorable to use as a medium of exchange. In fact, there are numerous altcoins that have fast transaction times and extremely low transaction or gas fees. However, Bitcoin is still the most widely used, accepted and trusted cryptocurrency. For this reason, tremendous effort has gone into making Bitcoin scalable enough to use in daily transactions, such as buying a cup of coffee or paying for a book, instantly and with virtually zero fees. The Lightning Network is one such promising solution. What is the Lightning Network? It is essentially a network of Bitcoin users or nodes. However, the network is outside of the main Bitcoin network and stops every transaction from being immediately broadcasted to the Bitcoin network. Instead, users aggregate transactions over time in their local drives and only broadcast a bundled set of transactions as one big transaction to the blockchain. Therefore, Bitcoin is a layer one and the Lightning Network is a layer two solution built on top of the main layer one Bitcoin network. Now, how does the Lightning Network work? For example, let's say that Adam goes to a coffee shop every day and wants to pay for his coffee in Bitcoin. He should choose to make a small transaction for each coffee. But due to Bitcoin scalability issues, the transactions can take over an hour to validate. Adam will also have to pay the Bitcoin network's high fees, even though he's only making a tiny transaction. To resolve this, the Lightning Network enables the creation of a peer-to-peer -peer payment channel between two parties, here between Adam and the coffee shop. To create a payment channel, the payer, or Adam in this case, must lock a certain amount of Bitcoin into the network as a security deposit. Once the Bitcoin is locked in, the recipient or coffee shop can invoice amounts of it as they see fit and then sell them coffee. From then on, the payment channels open and any number of transactions can directly occur between Adam and the coffee shop without payments ever touching the main blockchain. Because all transactions within a blockchain do not need to be approved by all nodes, this strategy greatly speeds up transaction times. When the Bitcoin security deposit that started the channel is fully spent, Adam can choose to close the channel or refill it with more Bitcoin to continue transacting with the coffee shop. Eventually, when Adam and the coffee shop decide to finish transacting, they can close the channel and all of the channel's information is then consolidated into one transaction, which is then sent to the main blockchain for recording. 
This consolidation ensures that dozens of small transactions do not spam the network at once, simplifying them into one big transaction that takes less time and effort for nodes to validate. Without lightning payment channels, smaller transactions would get in the way of bigger ones, congesting the network and adding more for nodes to validate. Now let's look at the question of the Lightning Network safety and security. Most of the time, you will be transacting with people or strangers who you don't know. This brings up the question, how can I trust someone not to run away if they owe me money? The answer is smart contracts. The Lightning Network creates a smart contract between two parties, the agreement rules are coded into the contract upon creation and cannot be broken. Smart contract code also ensures that contract fulfillment is automatic as contracts are initially made with preset requirements agreed by the involved parties. Once those requirements are met, like when Adam pays the correct amount for a coffee, the contract automatically fulfills without third party involvement. The Lightning Network also anonymizes transactions within a payment channel once validated. All anyone can see is the total transfer of value and not the individual transactions within it. A big question people have regarding the Lightning Network is, do I need to deposit funds as a security with each new individual or business I want to interact with? For Bitcoin to compete with Visa and MasterCard as a viable method of payment, we need to be able to conduct quick and fearless payments with strangers without having to make a security deposit every time. In order to overcome this issue, the Lightning Network allows users to jump through the connected payment channels. Network channels allow payment channels to connect indirectly via intermediaries, and this is called onion routing. If I have a payment channel with Adam, and he has a payment channel with his wife Eve, I can ask Adam to pay Eve on my behalf using their open payment channel. I can then pay him back when he confirms that he has made the payment to Eve. This network effect makes the Lightning Network much more powerful. Since in order to transact with someone, you just need to find a path to that someone through other participants in the network who already know each other. It doesn't even matter if the channel goes through a hundred different intermediaries, making the Lightning Network globally scalable. So what does the future hold in terms of the Lightning Network? Adoption of the Lightning Network is on the rise. At the end of 2021, 3,479 Bitcoin were locked in the Lightning Network, which translates to $1.3 billion. The Lightning Network is a separate protocol from Bitcoin's main nets, so it requires a different type of wallet so users can create payment channels. Traders cannot utilize the Lightning Network without optimized wallets. If Lightning Network adoption continues to grow, the industry can expect more wallet developers to integrate Lightning Network support. Dedicated users can also become a node, speeding up Lightning Network transaction times. The Lightning Network has also expanded to work as a Layer 2 solution on various projects. Cryptocurrency exchanges are starting to support it, bringing the Lightning Network to its customers. Exchanges that integrate the Lightning Network allow traders to withdraw smaller amounts of Bitcoin cheaply and instantly, even when the main network is congested. In addition, Watchtowers, which is a third-party protection service made up of various specialized nodes, have also been introduced to the Lightning Network. Some nodes go offline from time to time, that's normal, leaving their payment channels open to offline transaction scams. Instead of leaving their channel unattended, a participant can pay a small fee to a watchtower and provide a signifier related to the channel transaction, which is used to keep an eye on that channel. If the watchtower senses malicious activity, like the opposing party attempting to close the payment channel, it will automatically freeze the funds and refund them back to the offline user. The watchtower will also penalize the malicious party by removing their funds from the channel. And that brings us to the end of our conversation relating to the Lightning Network. I hope that this video has given you a good and broad understanding of what the Lightning Network is, how it works, and how it will possibly evolve to enable Bitcoin to be used as a viable medium of exchange. There's still a long way to go for the Lightning Network to become mainstream, however it promises to deliver. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy the content, 
please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and sharing this video with your family and friends. Thank you once again, and cheers.